This presentation presents the annual results of the BCGE Group as at 31st December 2020, as well as its priorities and the outlook for the year as a whole. The resilient economic performance of 2020 has been achieved despite many challenges. The economic crisis, adapting to new regulations, the persistence of negative rates and capital requirements, and the introduction of mandatory provisions for sound loans. Although these conditions have been unfavorable for all Swiss companies, they have had only a slight impact on the bank's profitability. Indeed, BCG now has a very streamlined business model, which explains this resilience. The dividend proposed to the General Assembly is maintained at the 2019 level and the group's growth outlook is intact. Key performance indicators remain at a good level. The banks remains extremely competitive, as reflected in the increase in mortgage loans to 12 billion francs and the growth in assets under management and custody to over 31 billion francs. The bank's productivity with a cost-income ratio of 64.7% is at a good level for a universal bank with international activities. At 6.7%, profitability expressed as the return on equity is at a good level compared to its peers. Lastly, the equity capitalization ratio is at the optimal level of 16.2%. Compared with a record year in 2019, turnover declined moderately in a period of severe recession. This is the result of non-recurring and cyclical factors. As for expenses, operating costs were well under control, as will be explained later in the presentation. The income structure remains well diversified. Net interest income, which is the main source of income, totaled 216 million Swiss francs. The second largest source of income is commission revenues at 116 million Swiss francs. Trading activities remain at a high level of just over 30 million Swiss francs. BCGE is a committed contributor to financing Geneva's economy. It grants loans to companies and individuals, which have risen to almost 18 billion Swiss francs. It has granted COVID loans to around 2,000 SMEs, totaling over 200 million Swiss francs. In total, the bank provides banking services to over 20,600 companies. The share of mortgages in the bank's activities remains proportionate with a 44% share of the balance sheet total, which confirms the policy of a healthy diversification of the business model. Client deposits rose by 12.9% to reach 16.9 billion. This very significant growth attests to clients' confidence in the bank. These deposits boost the bank's overall liquidity and, in particular, give it a high mortgage coverage ratio of 141%. This is clear proof of the bank's ability to attract deposits, as well as of the success of the Avantage Service Loyalty Program which has a community of more than 37,000 members. The gross interest margin recorded a good performance over the year. Despite negative interest rates and the weakening dollar and euro, the interest margin held up well at 0.93%. The increase in gross interest income thus reveals how competitive the bank is. Commissions reflect differing business cycles. The growth in securities commissions is driven by the bank's brokerage and issuing activities, whereas loan commissions reflect the falling prices and volumes in international trade and export finance. The other commissions were affected by the lockdown measures. The increase in assets under management and custody is encouraging and once again confirms that the bank is extremely competitive. The annual increase of 4.5% took the total to over 31 billion Swiss francs. Private clients were the main contributor to this remarkable growth. Private banking activities were boosted with more than 1,140 new management mandates in 2020. 
while the synchrony investment funds recorded a strong 6.3% increase to 3.3 billion Swiss francs. The bank maintained its level of investments during this difficult period, particularly in the areas of digital innovations and energy transition. In addition, the group's workforce grew by 5% in full-time equivalent and 39 new positions were created in 2020. Shareholders' equity continued to rise with a 3.0% increase, representing 49.6 million Swiss francs. Almost 1 billion Swiss francs of additional equity capital has been created since 2005. The coverage ratio exceeds 16%, compared with the required standard of 12%. BCGE belongs to the group of well-capitalized and solid banks. The milestone of 15,000 shareholders was passed in 2020. This ever-wider dissemination of the floating portion of capital is encouraging. The high level of employee participation in the bank's capital is also noteworthy. This is a clear sign of the alignment of interests between employees and shareholders. The BCGE share declined last year for the first time after a decade of significant growth. This performance reflects the cautious attitude of the markets towards universal banks. Given the evolution of shareholders' equity, the share has significant upside potential since its intrinsic value stands at 242.40 Swiss francs. The allocation of distributable profit of the parent company is 106 million Swiss francs. The board of directors will propose a dividend of 7.5% of the nominal value at its General Assembly on 29th April 2021. The payout ratio of 32.7% enables the bank to build up a very solid equity base year after year. It is thus in a position to finance its growth as well as that of the Geneva economy. The bank creates value for all its stakeholders. BCGE is committed to a long-term approach, whether for shareholders, clients, the community or employees. It is worth noting the total financial contribution of 50 million Swiss francs to public authorities for the 2020 financial year. A brief look back in time shows that the bank has created almost 1.5 billion in value since 2000. A substantial part of this amount, 78%, has gone to the public sector, while 5.4% has been distributed to private shareholders. On the left of the screen are the challenges that were outlined during the presentation of the half-year results on 11th August 2020. On the right, the accomplishments as at 31st December 2020. Mission accomplished in its role as a key partner of the regional economy with a continuously growing outstanding loan volume of 18 billion Swiss francs. Mortgage loans have risen to over 12 billion Swiss francs as have private assets totaling more than 16 billion Swiss francs. Growth in asset management was particularly strong in the ESG segment. BCGE is a very active partner in supporting Geneva's internationally oriented economy, as reflected by the fact that one third of turnover is generated in US dollars and euros. Lastly, the bank is keeping up the pace of its digital transition with an ever-increasing proportion of its clients opening all their banking services via internet channels. On the basis of this data, the bank considers that it has met its main challenges for 2020. The bank has seven strategic priorities. To act as the leading partner of Geneva's economy in the face of economic constraints and to support its increasingly outward-looking growth and international markets promote quality and encourage clients to be cautious on the mortgage market, to build on the bank's success in the field of private banking thanks to a focused and high-performance investment philosophy, to develop certain niche in the asset management market, 
to be a major contributor to the influence of Geneva's economy and trade. To innovate in the digitalization of banking and to support clients in their energy transition process. The bank will continue its commercial expansion in 2021, despite the recessionary economic environment. To do so, it relies on the diversity of its skills and on the alignment of its business model with the specific demands of the Geneva and Swiss economy. Its actions are guided by five key principles. A favorable strategic position, its financial soundness, the attention paid to the evolution of interest rates and the economy, a cautious credit policy, the development of businesses that are less capital intensive. Barring any further decline in the economic situation and taking into account the very positive commercial developments, the bank expects overall earnings to increase slightly in 2021.